Hey gang, Elizabeth here, Dandy Soap Channel. In today's DIY, we're going to do this heart, and we're staying in with the little blue trucks. I bought these gift bags at uh, Dollar General, so we're just going to use this particular print out for these gift bags. The wooden heart from Dollar Tree. And I'm also going to try out some of this lacquer, chalk paint, and some white, and mix those together to try to make a blushy pink. I may even see if I can work in this metal wording, Valentine from the Dollar Tree as well. So let's get started. So what I did, guys, is this lacquer, what little got on my brush, and the white Waverly chalk paint, and mixed them together to get this beautiful little light powder pink blushy color that I'm going for. And hopefully there's enough mixture here that I won't have to remix. That's the only thing about mixing paint and not trying to waste anything is uh, make sure that you get the right amount that you're wanting. Um, but I'm loving the color. I just hope that I've got enough spread to get my whole heart coated. Because I want this to fade off into a white towards the center, I'm going to take my dirty brush and I'm just going to touch the white. And whatever I pick up, that's all I'm concerned about. I do want it more whitish in the center. Now I've got my heart looking the right color and the blushiness that I wanted. If you get yours too light, you can do a dry brushing effect. Just take just a tiny bit on your brush. Brush most of it out on your plate. And then go around that and blend it until you feel like you've got the right blushiness that you're wanting. Next, we're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut out our print. Uh, modeling it to see, staging it per se, to see if it's laying the way that I want. So I know at this time I'm going to Mod Podge my truck. So since I'm only going to need a small amount for the time being for this little truck, I'm going to actually put the Mod Podge directly on my print here. And that you get it coated really good. And um, then you can lay it down and then you'll be able to put a finishing coat on there. Okay, now I'll put me a coat of Mod Podge on my truck now that I've got it centered. And that'll just lock everything in place. I'll later put a, another coat on the entire heart just to seal everything and make it dustable and cleanable. Just make sure that when you're putting Mod Podge on that you go out towards the edges. That's where the main part is. And that helps to push out any air pockets or anything that might be underneath. Now we'll let that sit and dry. Now that we've got it good and coated and we know that it's smoothed over really well. Once that dries, we'll move to the next step. I'm going to take a very fresh, brand spanking new Sharpie marker. And I will write out my letters. Now I've got my word written on my sign and I'm taking a white eraser to remove any graphite from my pencil marks that I had made. And always make sure you sign your work, especially if it's an original saying or an original painting. That way you always know that it was something that you thought of. And if it's someone else's, make sure you put the author's name there and give them credit. That way you don't get in trouble for using their saying, or their poem, or their photo. To do that, and you just want to get a little bit of grooves in there. The metal will, will know that it's there. And see how it's just scuffing up? And what that does is it's basically removing the shine from off of your letter, so you get good adhesion. Before I put my metal letters on my sign, I want to make sure I put Mod Podge on there to seal everything in. This just makes sure there's no shifting, no moving, and it makes it dustable and cleanable. And I'll just put a thin coat of Mod Podge on my heart, let that dry real quick, and then I'll be ready to glue my letters on. I've already sanded my word, as you can see the scuffy marks, and that way when I hot glue it, it'll stay adhered to my sign until I decide to remove it. 
So no sign of mine is going to be complete without some ribbon. I have this beautiful pink burlap ribbon I have been fitting to use. And this pink sheer. Both of these came from the Dollar Tree. So what I will do is I've added the jute twine that was on there originally and put it back there. And I'll actually attach the bow there. So what I do is I cut the amount that, uh, to determine the size I want first. And I know that that bow doesn't need to exceed the width of this heart, especially where the arch is. So basically, I take and I fold it, and I bring my overlapping beyond the center. And I fold this in half to find my center, and I make sure it overlaps, that both ends overlap. Now, once I've achieved that, I do what I call a pinch and fold or pinch and tuck into the center, just like so. And then, because I'm planning on using this shear, I will use that shear to actually wrap around my bow and tie it versus jute twine. Which is, now, guys, it couldn't get any darn cuter, but maybe it can the door hanger that was at Dollar Tree, it has the little kissy ribbon. I actually figured out a way to manipulate that away from that. I'm going to use this heart up here in addition to my G twine as a hanger. I just love that heart. It's the perfect color. I mean, my gosh, it is just perfect. And then this, I'm going to cut this off. And what I will do is I am going to actually glue this down at the bottom of this heart oh my goodness guys this is a total home run this thing is so cute oh my gosh it is so cute y'all i mean it just expresses pink is definitely one of my favorite colors it always has been and i will tell you guys if you can measure how much i love my husband based on how darn cute this piece turned out well, then it says it all. I will, of course, get you some better shots of this. But, oh my gosh, it is so cute. I mean, it is just unbelievably cute. And the bells and the perfect pinks, oh, they're just all together right here. Now, I'm not crazy about these lips, but at a distance, you can't really tell it. But it is still pretty ribbon. It's just not, you know, really what I had in mind. It would be nice if those were hearts instead of lips. But you get it. Kissy, kissy. It suits the poem. And it just works. And so when I hang this up, it is definitely full of cuteness. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I don't know how many other products will be on this video. At least one more. Uh, this will probably be a two-project video. But oh my gosh. Y'all, I have. I think this is probably the cutest thing I've done so far for Valentine's this year. All right. This is Elizabeth. Just in case, I've already uh, done a project before this one. Oh, my goodness. Isn't it cute? Oh, my gosh. I love it. Hi gang, Elizabeth here, Dandy Soap Channel. Welcome and thank you for joining me. If you're a new subscriber, hey, thanks for joining me. We're going to do this DIY wooden truck that I got from Dollar General on a paint along. And the two colors I've mixed together is the vintage teal that I love. And I also have come across this glacier. And I mix these two together to get the perfect blue combination that I want. So, let's get started. You'll want to paint both sides of this truck because it's three-dimensional and it sits on this wooden plaque right here. To give my truck some 3D effect and more dimension, I'm going to be putting a piece right here on the tailgate because it's usually beveled, and I'm going to put a running board. So I'm just taking some wooden skews and painting them the full-fledged vintage teal color. Using a dry brush and a little bit of the vintage teal, I'm going to go right here at the fender wells. Just give it a little bit of dry brushing. 
using the red paint marker I'm going to go ahead and paint my heart on the opposite side I decided to use my sharpie magenta which I am loving I'm going to use a piece of cardboard just so I can get my heart just in the right spot using my black sharpie I'm going to do my tires because the fender wells came down really over top of the tires and covered them really well, I'm not concerned with making that a perfect circle. On this side, I'll do pretty much the same. Now that I've got my tires painted and I added a little bit of a handle for my truck, I'm going to add some Mod Podge to this heart and place some Buffalo check fabric. I only want to put the Mod Podge where I want that heart to stick. Make sure you go to the edges and just get your Mod Podge really good and even. As you can see, I put black around the edges just in case I don't get my fabric just perfect. Let that dry, go back and trim off the fabric, and then I can add additional Mod Podge to seal it. On this side, I'm going to do the small one. Using my silver paint marker, I just lay it on the inside edge so that it gives the wheels a little bit of difference to look at. I Mod Podge my Buffalo Check fabric onto my hearts on both sides. And I put the sealing coat on there as well. Once I do my tires, I'll use the Waverly Wax and I'll put a coat on all of it just to seal it in and give it a slickness so that it's easily dusted and cleanable. I decided to paint the truck stand black as well. I think it'll look really neat and help the truck to blend in better. Considering the buffalo check fabric and the tires, I think it'll look really good that way. So now I've glued my little skewers at my truck bed and down here at the running board. I've done both sides. And I just used regular Elmer school glue, which is wood glue without the wood chips or sawdust. And I believe I'm going to also use it to glue my truck into its little plaque here and since the tires are the only thing that's going inside there I'm just going to put a heaping amount of glue on that anything that seeps out I'll just wipe away with a towel and there's no worries because Elmer's glue dries clear I think our truck turned out just gorgeous just looks adorable really really good and the great thing is you can turn it either way and get that full-fledged look. I've also been thinking about putting the word love in the metal letters just on the side. Contemplated the hearts. Then I changed my mind and I thought it would look good right here. So I might just add that too. 